Man, it is an absolutely beautiful day out here on the lake. Check it out. It's a little windy. It's beautiful. Sun's out. Everything's going good. And uh, when I was sitting in the office just a little bit ago, I was editing a video that'll be coming out here real soon. But um, I noticed we've not done a search and recovery video in a very long time. We've done salvage videos, which we've kind of been slack on too because we've got a contract with the TV company. But uh, we've not actually done a search and recovery video for you in a while. And so I thought, why not edit one? Well, as I'm sitting here thinking about that, the phone rings and I get a search and recovery call. So you guys are gonna run out with me really quick to do a search and recovery. All I know it is, is a young lady had dropped her phone in about six foot of water off the end of their dock or at the edge of their dock and she needs a diver. So let's jump in the truck, let's run over here, let's do this really quick search and recovery and see if we can be successful. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scooby and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I got a really quick search and recovery video for you. When I got here to the office today, I got a call for a search and recovery and it's a super easy one. It's about six foot of water and it's been a very long time since we've done a search and recovery call um, or a video for you. So I'm gonna put it together this video really quick for you to show you how quick a search and recovery can be if you set up the scene properly. Now, I know a lot of times when we do docks and things like that, um, we will drop a, a downline to go down on just for uh, you know orientation purposes so that we can always stay oriented. However, this is super easy. I'm actually standing up where the search and recovery is. She said it was about six feet. It's really only about five feet, so I can actually stand. I'm five foot seven, so I didn't really need a drop line. However, I am gonna be using a metal detector in this simply because where we're at, there's so much debris, there's so much leaves and mud, that phone's just gonna simply sink down in there. So I'm gonna be using a metal detector on this and I wanna show you how quickly you can do a search and recovery if you know your search area and you use the proper tools to do it. So that being said, let's jump in and let's knock it out. All right guys, we're gonna start this search and recovery off and just show you how fast and successful you can be doing a search and recovery if you use the right tools. And that's the purpose of this video is to tell you, you need the right tools. And um, typically when I do a search like this, I will always drop a line from where the person lost their object, cell phone, whatever it may be. Um, in this particular situation, obviously, I, I'm not gonna do that because I'm able to stand in the search area itself. Now, I do want to explain something really quick about how you enter the water. Uh, you're never going to jump in at the search area, especially if you can stand there. So my search area is actually about 20 feet away from me. It's about where the front of the boat is. And I'm going to uh, prep myself um, to do this search away from that because I don't want to stir up anything because here in our lake it doesn't take much to actually stir up the water and I've already walked out across the dock found where the search area is got my depth reading there um, so I've, I've got it set up but I don't want to stir up the visibility now one thing that you will notice even in this quick search this phone is buried um, that means there's a lot of leaves and debris uh, that the phone went down through so I don't that's what I don't want to stir up. I want to be able to get down there and have good visibility, you know, possibly see the phone sticking out, things like that. But I am using a metal detector, and I would encourage you to purchase a metal detector if you're going to be doing searches like this. You don't have to have a really expensive one. I have several Garrett's that are really, really expensive. And then I've got this one I got here off Amazon. As you can see, it works. I'm able to test it, and it pings. And I think this one will actually reach down to about 12 inches, which you're is saying absolutely it's right there phenomenal. Where the cleat of the boat is. But here I'm just verifying, okay, right there was my drop point, and I want to make sure that I descend That's before I get on that point and I can kind of swim into it because you'll see really quickly when I find this phone it gets stirred up very very quickly but um, as I descend down I'm going to go down head first obviously so that my fenders are not touching the bottom and you can even see I've already got it uh, stirred up but there boom I pinged on the phone almost immediately it was underneath the leaves and as soon as I pulled that phone up you can see just how quickly uh, the visibility just went to pure zero but having the 
any proper equipment, I was able to be very, very successful uh, in this search and recovery. And I do want to make another quick note here. What is proper equipment? Is it the metal detector? Well, sure, in this situation, sure. Um, is it uh, having the right training? Absolutely. It's having that search and recovery training. Um, it's not just an open water diver certification. I know a lot of people want to do an open water search so they can go out and do this. Make sure you're getting the proper dive training. Go out and get that specialty, that search and recovery specialty, even the night yeah, diver specialty. Anything that's going to apply uh, to Unless you, you doing this case, because you want to be Rarely safe. Yeah, we, we're always happy when we find the objects. The, the clients that we work for are happy when we find the objects. And yes, we make good money doing this, but it's not worth risking your life because you're untrained, okay? So nothing in this world is worth risking your life over. Um, so make sure you're properly trained to do this. But as you can see, guys, very, very quick search and recovery. I bet you I didn't take maybe two breaths there. Um, they were happy. I was happy. I made a little bit of money, and everybody stayed safe doing this. But, yeah, I'd encourage you to get out there, get trained, and go do search and recoveries. Do it for your friends. Do it for your neighbors. Do it for, you know, whoever in the area. Advertise. Throw some business cards out here or there, and you will get the calls. And still the best form of advertisement for you is going to be the word of mouth. You do a good job, you make successful search and recoveries, and of course you will get calls after calls after calls. Now of course we do this all the time in summer, we do it all the time in the winter, and our phone is constantly ringing off the hook. But guys, I really hope you did enjoy this search and recovery video. It's been a very long time since we've done one. Um, I know we enjoy going out doing them. We enjoy teaching you guys about how to do them and how to stay safe. But like I said, make sure you're getting properly trained. Make sure you have the proper equipment to do this and you'll be successful and you will be safe as well. So there you go guys, really quick search and recovery. The metal detector really made it easy for me to jump in and do it. Like I said, I didn't really need a drop line here, so there was no point in that. But I think from the time I geared up, walked down to the water, got in the water, did the search, and was back out of the water and back up the hill to my truck, was less than four minutes. And I actually made pretty good on this job too. So th guys, this is something that you can do. Get out there and do it. Hey, look, we got a little turtle right here. A little squirrel moment, sorry about that. But uh, this is something that you can do. Get out there and train, have fun with it, make you a little bit of money, and just stay safe, and you will be a much better diver. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed our search and recovery videos way back when, and I hope you enjoy them now. That's going to do it for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.